So here we're told that in country C, the unemployment rate uh, among the uh, construction workers dropped from 16% to 9%. So this is the number of people who are unemployed as a percent of the total number of workers. And we're told that the number of construction workers was 20% greater in 1996. So this is 1996, 1992. So if this, um, if the number here is um, N, the number of construction workers here would be 1.2 N. And the question is, what is the percent change in the number of unemployed uh, construction workers over this period? So I can write the number of unemployed um, construction workers would be 16% or 0.16 of N. Here, it would be 0.09% of 1.2 N. I'm actually going to multiply this. 12 times 9 is 108. Then move three decimal places back. So this is 0.108 N. And we're looking for percent change. Um, and actually, here, instead of dealing with uh, decimals, I can also just move the decimal uh, three places on both sides, meaning this is 160 or 108. Um, and because I'm only computing the percent change, I can also use that. In some cases, students could use the number n is equal to 100 because it, we're only computing percent change. And that would give you the same result. Um, and so in this case, the change would be 160 minus 108, which is 52. And then we need to find this as a percent of the original. So 52 over 160 times 100. And uh, 52 um, is uh, a third of 160 because 52 times 3 is close enough to 160. So this is about uh, a third, which is really approximately 30, 33%. But if you look at the answer choices, uh, the closest is 30%. So this is about 30% decrease. And uh, just an aside, if you, if you want, you can also leave it in terms of N in a more general sense. Uh, the answer would be exactly the same. In this case, the difference here would be point. Um, 052n, and then we would be doing 0.052n over 0.160n, which is the original times 100. And then you'll notice that move three places, we get the same result, n drops out. Or you can assume a, a value for the total number of construction workers to start. So any one of these approaches uh, acceptable, and the answer is 30% decrease or choice B.